Barack Thay Hawa, 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 Barack Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you and Sir Brothers teaching in truth and in sincerity. And this lesson is going to, this is our practice before the big game. And that practice is going to the spiritual practice as far as gearing ourselves up in the spirit. You know, so prayer, preparing for Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that big game is part of Jacob's trouble when Esau come down on the tribes. And we have an article from before his news pretty much is going into how Esau is about to be ready to come gear up on you tribes. But before we get in, let's get judges first. Let's get judges. Yeah. Now, this judge is 5 and 10 and, and 11. And they are delivered from the noise of the arches and the place of drawn waters. That should, have, that should they rehearse. The righteous acts of the Most High, uh -huh. even the righteous <clears throat> act towards the inhabitants of the, vi the village of Israel, then shall the, the people of the Most High go down in, to the gates. Right. And the key word of the scripture is rehearse. You know that when you rehearse something, that means you're going back over something. So we're going back over the ways that we used to do back in the ancient world, as far as praying to our true power. This time, you know, uh, fellowshipping. You know, just building our faith up in the spirit, just gearing ourselves ready in the mind frame of uh, what's about to get ready to come, you know? I just got, I got a, um, an account too, bro. This is Acts 11 and 1. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of the Most High. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou wentest. And, and to men uncircumcised, and did us eat with them. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning, and expounded, expounded it by order unto them, saying. So just like you're saying, mm -hmm. uh, basically, a practice is everything. And uh, Peter was actually uh, rehearsing through the Spirit what he was going to say uh, before he got to that council, man. You know? That's right. That was just the point. I got a quick one. Okay. <clears throat> this is uh, Sirach 2079. The birds will resort unto their light. So will the truth return unto them that practice in her. Yep. Mm -hmm. The truth is going to return to the elect. God, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of you, how about your shy, is pretty much upon the elect for the uh, other nation of Israel to understand the truth. And that's the truth of the scriptures, the truth doctrine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most we say because we practice and we say it don't return to those that practice. So we're linking up with Judges 5 and 11, mm -hmm. rehearsing the righteous acts, yep. you know, in the land of uh, uh, drawn water and human wood, which is captivity. Mm -hmm. All right, what we're doing, rehearsing these righteous acts, all right, because we're uh, a nation of, of priests, man. That's right. You know, so we rehearse those acts and their truth uh, returned to us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, through the spirit power we have by Shem Al Shai. Right. And then further proves reincarnation. God, the truth is coming upon those same ones that was practicing back and forth time. Okay? So there's no new thing on the sun. Alright, let's go ahead and get that question. Alright, um, and this article is entitled U.S. Immigration <coughs> Customs Enforcement Appears to be Gearing Up for Massive Border Invasion with New Contract to Acquire three, 375, 375 Million Rounds of Tactical Rifle Ammunition. This was posted on Wednesday, December the 19th by Mike Adams, and again, the source is before, it, before its news. Anyone who doesn't yet realize the United States government is gearing up to defend America against a major land invasion of foreign nationals need to look at this press release from December 20, Salaki, from December 10th, 2018. And it's entitled, U.S. Department of Homeland Security Awards Federal Premium a 223 two, Remington ammunition contract. The press release describes a five-year, 75 million contract to provide the organizations, agents, and officers with 223 REM duty and training ammunition. For those who aren't familiar with firearms, 223 Remington ammo is used in AR-15 <coughs> rifles. It's not technically identical to the 5.56 NATO, but rifles that can fire 5.56 NATO can also fire 223 Remington. I didn't jump down and say that's 18,000. 
That's 18,750 rounds of ammunition per RCE employee. RCE currently employs 20,000 people. If the 375 million rounds of ammunition were equally distributed across all 20,000 ICE employees, that would give each employee 18,750 rounds of ammunition. So that further proves that uh, this so-called white man, <clears throat> uh, you know, the so-called Caucasian, and that is known as Esau according to the scriptures, this is his blessing. You know, mm -hmm. you know it gets into the uh, different types of rounds of ammunition he has. And he's preparing that for you try us, man. But right now in this situation, the Northern Kingdom, which is, consists of you so-called Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But in this case, it's really aimed at you so-called Hispanics over there by the border. Okay? And it says uh, uh, ICE. That's what actually is. ICE. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Right. My yeah. Bad. He said they currently employ 20,000 people. If the 375 million rounds of ammunition were equally distri distributed across all 20,000 ICE employees, they would give each employee 18,750 rounds of ammunition. So look, you know, the ICE people, that's for the, for the border, right? That's like for the, for the, 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 the immigration and the uh, Latino. Yeah. Because they made news, well, a year mm -hmm. or two ago, that was going to different businesses where you so-called Hispanics uh, worked at, and they was rounding them up, you know what I'm saying? Telling them back across to the border. I need to get that song to the team. Psalm 17, 17, 13. Psalm 17, 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yep. You know, the, the wicked is talking about, the, you know, the elites, which is the biblical Edomites. It says, Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And part of Esau's blessing is his sword, you know, pursuing the Genesis, the twenty fifth chapter and also going into Revelation the sixth chapter. You know what I'm saying? That's his sword, the modern day gun, anything that's, you know what I'm saying, that's pretty much act, can kill you with some type of weapon, that's Esau's blessing right there. And he's gonna he's gonna um he's gonna use that blessing when all hell breaks loose and Jacob struggle. Mm -hmm. This is book of second Ezra chapter sixteen verse forty. It says, Oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle and then those e evils be even as privilege upon the earth. Okay. And it's saying, make a, uh, oh my people, talking about Israel, man, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. Those are the chosen people of Yahweh by Shema of Shaman, the true Israelites of the Bible. You know, but he said, make thyself ready for the battle. It's talking about spiritually. It's not talking about trying to go gun for gun and bullet for bullet. All right, with these Edomites, it's talking about make yourself ready spiritually, man. You know, the white brothers say you got to practice, all right, before the game, man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of guys out there, especially as, as of late, they got the wrong playbook, man. You know, you practicing for the wrong uh, game, man. You know, you got Jake want to get corner. You know, you got Jake still believing in Jesus Christ. You know, they're practicing for the wrong game, man. Yep. You know? If I could just make this point, you know, don't fall for the, the mental traps. Prior to the day of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So we all have our temptations, but there's so many avenues that Satan is uh, attempting to let you go through to sort of sidetrack you from what's about to happen. God. You know, your med let your meditation be the coming of Yahweh Shai. You mm -hmm. know? That's right. Mm -hmm. I got the word practice. All right, this is just a Google definition. I'm going to go on to our forward pretty good. It says uh, the actual application. Or use of an idea, belief, or method as opposed to theories about such application or use. You know, so it's the actual uh, application of these scriptures in your day to day, man. You know, that's how you're constantly practice, man. You know, how to carry yourself, being uh, wise as a serpent, homeless as a dove. You know, separating yourself from this world, man. Uh, uh, like the elder said, you know, mentally first, you know, and then physically, man, you separate yourself. From this place as much as possible, man. You know, uh, definition two. It said repeated exercise in in or performance of an activity or skill, such as to acquire or maintain profit proficiency in it. You yeah. know, scribing for the truth. Mm -hmm. The scripture talk about scribing. Yeah. You know, and he he described for the master is temperate. 
You know, which means that there's self control. Yeah, that's one thing the most high he's big on is repetition, man. Because mm -hmm. our people are hard net stiff people. So he has to keep reiterating it over and over again for our people to actually comprehend what he actually trying to bring out. You know, get it. Yeah. That's the yeah, that's the practice. That's, that's, that's the practice, practice man. right? Because I think Bruce Lee had a quote, you know, he stated, he said, um, he doesn't <clears> fear the man that has kicked um, 10,000 times, but he fears the man that kicked the same kick. 10,000 times. Why? Because that man has perfected that kid. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, definition three, in the verb form, it said to perform or exercise repeatedly or regularly in order to improve or maintain one's proficiency. If I can just make a point, that's why practice is so important because if you practice for the big game, you're able to apply. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Esau has this thing called application because in real time, certain people don't know how to perform certain skill sets because they didn't practice. Mm -hmm. But if you're practicing oh, go ahead, bro. But if you're practicing it, you know what I'm saying, over and over and over again, it becomes a part of your spirit. It's like second um, nature. It's like yeah. that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Like you put your time, your energy, and your spirit into something in that particular craft. Like for instance, I know you don't like LeBron James, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, put the, that out there. You know, but the the more he practices, you know what I'm saying, you see how he gets in the game, you know what I'm saying? But now put that on the spiritual aspect, how much more of uh, even that brother, they practicing in the spirit, they reading more, they studying more, they fellowshipping more, they praying more, they, they fasting more, you know, they doing everything to please your how about your shot in the spirit. So how much more is he going to be magnified when all hell breaks loose? You know? yes. Yeah, I mean, just in, even in Esau's world, man, yeah, yeah. someone who's worked this, this same job for three, four years is way more, um, Valuable than someone who went to college for about four years, man. Yeah. Because that person that worked that job, man, he learned all the different dimensions of that particular job. He's been applying it. He's been applying it, man. And he, as opposed to someone who went to college and learned everything theoretically. Mm -hmm. And went to the real world and really couldn't yeah. apply that stuff, man. That's right. You That's know? Right. And it says to carry out or perform a particular activity, method, or custom habitually or regularly. And if you know anything about players such as the greats like Kobe, uh, Michael Jordan, even LeBron, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, at the same time frame, they actually uh, involve themselves in the practice. So mm -hmm. we can't be spiritually um, AIs because he was the same person that was saying practice, what is practice? This is just, we talking about practice. No, you know, it's kind of got something. Mm -hmm. And this, you can break it down. Um, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you've been practicing over and oh, over for the big fucking game, man, mm -hmm. which is Jacob Trump. Yeah, for, for instance, like fasting, on, for an example, <clears throat> we all know through the scriptures that we know through the spirit that it's going to be a great family coming mm -hmm. out here. So for the ones that have been practicing or been uh, rehearsing the righteous as of fasting, how much more are they going to be taken care of or be well looked upon against somebody that don't know anything about fast? Right, they right. can't go without food without two hours, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, the most. You know what I'm saying? So we pretty, this is the time right now to give yourselves up in the spirit, man. Yeah. In order to finish the course of this race, man, you have to, uh, you have to have, you, you have to have <coughs> faith, all right? The faith is going to instill in you to basically uh, to, yeah, to keep fighting the good fight. All right, when you go into that term, mm -hmm. good fight, in the Greek, it's um, kolos agone. No, <laughs> kolos agone, all right? So at the end of the day, you got to practice, man, and you need to practice so you can uh, perform because at the end of the day, it's about closing out the full quarter, man. I can just make this one last point for brothers in the scriptures. You got to let go of Babylon before Babylon goes down. You got to spiritually and mentally detox from the fun of Babylon before the Lord shuts it down. Mm -hmm. See, part of the thing that's going to make us prepared is that, okay, hey, we got the, bring it out, brother. I did Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no turn to turn, turn to the most high. You know, hey, hey, man, brothers got to unplug, man. Stop BSing. You know, and not just brothers. If you're watching the videos, you ain't cross on the other side, man. Are you, the, the, well, because we're good, we're getting into the time of Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. but it's all mental. You have to already be turned off from this place, man. Oh, you know, man. putting off day to day for sinners the wrath of the Most High come forth, and that securities mm -hmm. and that that shall be destroyed. Yeah.
Passion the day of vengeance. Yeah, like putting day to day off, you know what I'm saying? Just like you see a camp, you be like, well, I'll probably come see them, you know, next week or next two weeks. Yeah. Just hypothetically speaking, what if um, Esau shut everything down then mm-hmm. by the time frame? You're going to be looking real yeah. stupid, man. It's, it's like the uh, off season. Yeah, you know, it's like well, I got five months before season starts. Yeah. He just bullshit now. The game next week, man. Mm-hmm. You out of shape, right. all right? You hey. gain weight. You just got weaker. Mm-hmm. You know, he, yeah. he ain't gonna perform, man. So in the time of Jacob trouble, which is game time, all right. Especially for the tribe, like the brothers going into reading about the, the ammunition they got. That's for you. That's you right. trash, man. That's right. All right, you niggas on the comment board. All right, you got the false doctrine. All right, and the men of the Lord. Everybody, it's going to be game time for everybody. That's right, bro. You know, but who's going to perform, man? That's the right. The ones that's been practicing, all right, uh, on their craft, man. Yeah. You know? And you can't do like Shaq used to do. You know, that's what the uh, one of Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant, <coughs> and Shaq's rip was. He would never practice. Yeah. He would try to play himself into shape during the season. Mm-hmm. But during Jacob's trouble, you're not going to have that luxury, man. Right, right. Fuck around and get killed. Hey, two games. You know, hey, <clears throat> hey, well, we want to we have that spiritual uh, hook shot like Kareem. Time, right, right, Unstoppable, right. that is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. <clears throat> okay, the Ephesians now. Okay. Okay. Right. This is uh, the book of Ephesians, <laughs> chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yep. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yep. For we wrestle not against, uh, and the brother get their wiles. Yeah. Um, God. Ephesians 6 in the shop. I can go into it just, just talking about craftiness. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what the devil does is he uses certain people, certain events, mm-hmm. or circumstances to get you up off the truth, man. But he disguises it. As it's gonna be happily ever after, man. Mm-hmm. But once you get out, get out the trail of the truth, then what's gonna happen? You're gonna perish. Yeah. But I'm gonna still get the grace that you call for. Mm-hmm. You said certain people, hence false prophets, yeah. certain events, false flags. Yeah. You know uh-huh. what's the last statement you made? Oh, bro, and then the main one gonna be that chip. Yeah, cause that's what's gonna be su- supposed to call. Um, that's what's gonna be. The solution to restore order mm-hmm. to this chaos, man. God. But that's part of his crafting. Yeah. That's part of his wiles, man. Mm-hmm. You know? On a personal level, you get personal circumstances, man. Yeah. 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 And you meet a woman, you think it's all good, but really, though she was, the, it's a demon working with her, man. Mm-hmm. That's part of the wiles that's saying, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And the demon know your exact lust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we gotta stay, keep your hands yeah. up. I got a scripture to you. All right, come on. Uh, this uh, First Peter 5 and 8, just so we stay focused. It's uh, be sober, be vigilant, because the de- the adversary of the devil is as a roaring lion walking about, mm-hmm. seeking whom he may devour. That's right. Mm-hmm. And if you and if you not balanced, all right, in the spirit, if you just going in the wind to and fro, man, all right, um, Satan is always lurking, man. To snatch you up out of him, man. Yeah. You know? He isolates you. Yeah. That's what a royal lion does. He'll isolate you from the pack mm-hmm. and he'll attack your ass. Uh, this is crap, craftiness of uh, so, so like your wiles in the Greek. Strong's G3180. Methodia. 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 What does that sound like? For him. <laughs> method. Mm-hmm. You know? So Esau's methods, man. Yeah. Just like the brother said, he uses uh, pleasure, lust. All right, uh, whether your pleasure be money, women, all right, uh, fame, glory, you know, yeah. food, you know. Esau yeah. uses all these different methods, you know, to overthrow the righteous, man, and overthrow people in general, man. Come you on, know? Bro. And just to back up, cunning arts, deceit, crap, trickery. Now, I don't know if y'all familiar with that movie, Enter the Dragon, but Bruce Lee's uh, master told him in order to... Uh, destroy the enemy. I mean, the enemy. You have to destroy the image. Mm-hmm. And so, what did he do? He just started breaking mirrors. So, a, a mirror can be like your significant other. Yep. You know, your job. Yep. A certain uh-huh. demons playing in your yeah. mind. Certain <coughs> false prophets, like the brother saying, you have to spiritually destroy those. Uh, destroy the mirror. So, therefore, if you destroy the mirror, then Satan can't hide behind those images anymore. And it's heavy. You know, mm-hmm. brothers have to conquer their emotions. Damn. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, I speak for myself too. I'm in a battle too. 
But well, you know, you examine yourself, you realize your weaknesses, man. Mm -hmm. You have to map all because you have an emotion. That doesn't mean that you should be governed by that emotion. That's right. You know, if it's love, a woman can manipulate that emotion. Yeah. If it's mm -hmm. anger, that emotion can be manipulated, and you get out of character. You know, mm -hmm. but lust, if you may call that an emotion, yeah. you have to learn how to conquer the movements, the energy that's, that's, that's going on in your body, man. Yeah. All those are different vibrations, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing Pastor Bob always talk about. Uh, you yourself, you are your biggest enemy. Man. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's true. Yep. Uh, back in Ephesians, mm -hmm. it said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, against the rulers of uh, the darkness of yeah, this God. world. Like an Adam, principalities or demons. Mm -hmm. You know, just to add. You know how you have the feds? Mm -hmm. And like you have the, the room and there's all, all the police officers, all the feds members and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then they have the pictures of the targeted suspects yeah, yeah. on the wall. Yeah. That's how the demons are with us, man. Yeah. We're, we're, we're on the, uh, the, the wall of most wanted. Yeah. Like, okay, this is how we're going to get this brother right here, man. Yeah. This is his weakness. This is what he likes to do. You know, we, if, we go, if we get at him at this direction, we should be able to conquer him, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know? That's what Yahusha told Peter, Satan's desiring to sift you with sleep. And it said, against spiritual weakness in high places, yep. wherefore take unto you the whole arm of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, yep. and having done all to stand. In the evil day, you know, evil which means bad times, man. Bad times represent Jacob's trouble, man. You gotta go. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, mm -hmm. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yep. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yeah, and this is talking about the elites, man. The fiery darts represent a new world order. Everything that's under that umbrella, new world order, far as uh, worshiping the image of the beast and physically taking the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. No, um, then. <coughs> uh, there's the ways of the, uh, this wicked society that's part of the fiery darts of the wicked mm -hmm. so we we stay on the side of your high bashan shah he'll show favor upon us mm -hmm. right now everybody in that in that uh christian spirit yeah you know, and they just basically did they fall in uh they fall in the philosophy of, of of the wicked kingdom mm -hmm. i mean they they're not they're not looking toward your high bashan shah it's against all all that all that Based all the fucker is what it really is though. They really, really got nothing to do, do with the uh, scripture, so. Yeah, but you're not going off because even, even the elder Yasha Woman had given a video about the fur trees, mm -hmm. you know, talking about that's really going to uh, the Christmas shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, like one of the songs he was singing, like Deck the, Deck the Halls mm -hmm. with, what, with Folly. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. So that shit is fuckery, man. Yeah. You know? But then it say having going to make the point of having your loins girt about with the truth. That means being silent on what you believe in, man. You know, because false doctrine, you know, is, is on the rise, man. You know, as the scripture prophesied it will be in the latter days, man. So you have to un you have to have a foundation and be silent on what you believe in, man. Do you believe this truth? Because only one truth, man. All right, either you believe this doctrine or you don't, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's a lot of false prophets. You know, they're coming to draw me after themselves, man. So you have to have your lawns girt with the truth, man. Damn. You know, he saw from the pool some some shit out for his new world order, man. He finna pull some trickery out. That's why I say if it will possibly deceive the very elect. Mm -hmm. So he saw from to do some things, man. So you yeah. have to be have a solid foundation, man. Right. You know? Yeah, that's why I said wherefore I take unto you the whole army armor, so like your other most high, you know, talking about his word, you know. Mm -hmm. Now it goes into like your whole body being protected by this word. It, it goes into your feet. Mm -hmm. Then it's going into the hell of salvation, mm -hmm. your loins girded. Mm -hmm. So pretty much everything is all protected through the spirit. When all these things come upon us. And you kinda of think about Leonidas on three hundred. Oh yeah. You know how he had the shield, yeah. the helmet, you know what I'm saying? the helmet, yep. you know what I'm saying? He had the um, um his loins girded. Yeah, his loins go I mean his loins was um girded as well, man. Then you had the um, he had the sword, so you have to be spiritually led, uh, Leonidas, man. But really, with his uh, Lawrence Gerd in his mind, he was convicted. Yeah, like they were. Yeah, yeah. you know, like you were saying, man, you got to be convicted that this, this that this is the truth, and no matter who comes up against it, man, regardless of what they're saying, man, enticing words. These motherfuckers are being uh, led by seducing spirits, man. If you cannot see that the microchip 
is the mark of the beast this day and time, man. Right. You are spiritless, man. Yeah, you got to you know, and just to make the point, just quick point, and get yeah. back to the scripture. You got to, like, think about scenarios, man. When Esau get you in these concentration camps, if his brothers like to go there, what you think he going to try to mess with first? Your mind, man. Yeah. You know? He can. He might have a recording of a brother saying something about you, you know? Have uh, 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 Try to demonize the apostles, man. Try to make you, uh, 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 you know, discredit. You know the apostles, man. You know he got the technology. He can edit different things and make them make them say things that they ain't even say, man. Or you act, know? act like have a re-education camp, yeah, yeah. where they ask you questions and you and you don't say what they want. You get shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know you get that trouble. You know. Okay. MK Ultra. MK Ultra. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is uh, verse sixteen. It says, uh, well, verse seventeen, and that the helmet, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword. Of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Yep. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereon too, uh, with all um, perseverance and supplication for all saints. Look at that. It said about the spirit, man. Everything is spiritual, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the only that's the only uh, way we can be able to be Esau, man. Is on that spirituality uh, standpoint. We can't fight against this man, you know, with physical weapons. And just say he spent over three hundred and seventy five million dollars worth of ammunition. You know, how can we go against something like you that? Can, man. Yeah, that's what just what he reported. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just something reported, man. Yeah, that's yeah. just on paper, you yeah. know. And that's why I say, man, hey, you literally have to look like Leonidas on three hundred, man, with that shield, yeah, with the helmet, with the spear. Mm -hmm. And he still had a knife and I mean he had the sword, you know, uh, inside of the shield, man, and his feet was shot at, man. Yeah. And another thing, and that, that brotherhood is, 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 is important too. That's right. Because the brotherhood will help you out. Uh -huh. You come to 300. They all had a shield, right? Mm -hmm. He said that shield protects from the thigh to, to, to your neck to your thigh. That's a good point. The same way, like, and it's true when, you, when, the, when the brotherhood, when the brotherhood, like, we, we uh, protect each other. That's right. From, from uh, not, not for you know, yeah. we, we just like. Pretty much we uh we looking out for one another. Five regards of the week. We move in a unit. Mm -hmm. You know, you lay out his the guy, what he say, we move as a unit. And that mm -hmm. unit, the reason why they was able to move, because basically they function as one. Mm -hmm. How do we function it? Function as one. Having that spiritual mindset such as your home show. Yeah, that one body. That one body. You know, one one body, one faith, you know, one spirit. Yeah. And you know? hey, this uh since you mentioned Shield, this is Psalm five and twelve. For thou, Yahweh Bashin Yahusha. Will bless the righteous with favor, will thou compass him as with a shield. Right, right. And you look at the word favor, it goes into prejudice. You know what I'm saying? So these prejudices towards the, the elect of the nation of Israel, man. So that let you know he's distinguished amongst the elect of the nation of Israel and two thirds of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Yeah. I did some uh, 141 and 9. Keep me from the stairs. Which they had laid for, laid, laid for me, mm -hmm. that the gene of the workers of iniquity. Yeah, and uh, the uh, the gene snares. Uh, that's pretty much all the same thing, man. Just Esau was trapped. You know what I'm saying? Like he had these guys, these different guys set up. They know they Israelites, and they put uh, they put out that false information for the congregation to follow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's part of Esau's trickery right there, man. Uh -huh. uh, he know everybody's waking up to the Israelites now, so uh -huh. now he's like, okay. Let me go ahead and just tell these Israelite leaders, tell these people that the mark of the beast is not the microchip. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Because he know everybody's, a lot of people is waking up, man, like on a massive scale. So now Esau is working double time to get these false leaders to pretty much to uh, lead y'all astray, man. That's right. Yeah. They've been infiltrated. Yeah, they've been infiltrated. You want to get on? Chicago, I got a little for you. Okay. Hey, Psalms 18 and 4. The sorrows of death can pass me. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, back in the scripture, the sorrows of death can pass me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. All right? So we already know that the, ungo the <coughs> ungodly men at this time frame is Esau, man. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they move in like a flood talking about their military <coughs> unit. All right, because if you think about uh, a flood, it's strong, it's powerful, mm -hmm. and it has the ability to uh, engulf everything it runs into, man. That's right, man. So without Yahweh Hashem, 
We're not going to be able to sustain. We're not going to be able to receive salvation, man. Because like Shekai was saying, you cannot fight this man with his own blessing. That's why, you know, the elect is going to receive that spiritual reward, man. That's the only way you can combat Esau. Because literally his spiritual power is his fucking gun, man. Mm -hmm. If that sure. makes sense. Okay, you mentioned um, Isaiah the 10th chapter, one of my favorite scriptures. That goes into overseer and the rod of uh, my inheritance, man. So the rod is in uh, Esau's hands right now to pretty much control and come against you, so-called... Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native American. He mm -hmm. said he's going to come against a hypocritical nation. Who he's talking about? He's talking about the tribes, man. And you read that article before his news, Lil Willie, you all can read it, man. You will see how Esau, he has more than enough of ammunition, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he's, he's, getting, he's gearing up. So if he's gearing up on the physical standpoint, how much more of us had to gear up on the spiritual standpoint? It's sure. a total balance at the end of the day, you know? Uh, I got a quick one. I just uh, Psalms 146 and 5. Habit he that had that had the most had the power of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the most high his his power. So we power of Jacob. Power of Jacob. Yeah. So you know that in the power in Jacob power is how you have a shot. Right. And then Jacob is the toward tribes of Israel. But start the leg. Yeah, because we're gonna be happy, you know, we gonna be, Lord we'll be part of the leg. And we, you know, it's all right, it's all come here to come with it. And most high gonna come with it too. That's right. Um, but who gonna win? Our power, power of Jacob gonna win. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh Psalms 46 and 7. It says the Lord of hosts is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge. Yeah. And this is 11. Hey, when you think about refuge, when you break in that term, it means a flee back. You're yeah. supposed to flee to it, you know, while you have a shot. Mm -hmm. well, what they say, the name is a strong tower, yeah. man. Come. Lord of hosts, man. The mm -hmm. Lord Sabaoth, talking about the, the armies, man, those spiritual armies, those angels, man. They're going to protect the elect through these hard times coming up ahead, okay? Mm -hmm. Man, this is 11. It says, The Lord of hosts is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge. Sign, sign, sign. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I said it's just like a storm shelter. Yeah. If you don't know where the storm shelter is, when the storm will come, you're through. That's right. You know? That's right. And he saw this storm, this, you know, this brewing, man. With Jacob trouble, you know, the judgment of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, but Yahweh, the names of the Lord are strong tower. So, like you say, we got people that still, all right, don't know the names of the Lord, man. You got Israelites don't teach the name of the Lord. So, they don't even know where the storm tower is, man. That's right. That's right. You know? This is Luke. Come. This is blue. This oh, I start from cast start thirty four. Yeah, this, cool. sure. this is Luke twenty one thirty four. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surviving and drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unaware. Okay. You know, so you have to have that laser focus, mm -hmm. man. You know? You can't be uh, engulfed. With the cares and the words of, of this life, man. That's right. You know, the yeah. hell with this life. We live day for day, man. Uh -huh. You know, and you say, like you say, like you have that spiritual tunnel vision. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And Pastor Bar, he did a beautiful video on just by being content. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the spirit we actually need to be in. Yeah, you know? yeah brothers ain't. And that's what it's all about. Receiving your daily bread. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you can, you know, get something else, then that's cool. But yeah. your main focus is supposed to be pushing the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 35, for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell upon the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Yep. That's the end of the be all right there. In the spirit, that's what we just want to do. We just be accounted worthy to you. How about you? Know, like these the men that stood Stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Even it comes down to our death, man. As long as we stay in the spirit, we continue to be good brothers, we fellowship, we pray, we fast more, mm -hmm. we continue to stay in the spirit and gear ourselves up more. And Lord willing, we can make up out of here, man. Cause that's our only hope, you know. Because the prophecy, they're going yeah, it, it's going to be like that. they finna jump the masses of the mm -hmm. people, man. Yeah. You know, like you walk into an ambush, man. That's right. how the prophets, the prophets finna do, man. You know, but like the brother said, you're going to be spiritually equipped where you can defend, move, and maneuver like you need to. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. 
All right, with that, we hope you all were edified through the Spirit. And we'd like to give all under glory again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakakudash. Double others again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.